in class exercise 5 chapter 14 problem number 1477 the roller coaster car having mass m is released from rest at a that means the velocity at a is zero if the track is to be designed so that the car does not leave it at b means car stays in contact with b determine the required height h also find the speed of the car when it reaches c point c neglect the friction so this is actually the solved problem from the slide. So I'll walk you through the solution from the slide. So this is 800 kilogram. So by the way, in, in the problem, we were not given the mass, but here the mass is given, but we can solve this problem even without knowing the value of M. So find the minimum height H point A so that the car travels around the inside the loop without leaving the track. Also find the velocity of the car at C for this height H of A. So we need to calculate this and we need to calculate velocity at C. So our approach is to define the datum first. So datum is defined at A. In this case, so potential energy will be negative. Now relative to A, uh, between point A and point B, conservation of energy equation is applied. That means Ta plus Va is Cv plus Vb. Uh, where T is kinetic energy, V is potential energy, and this is what we get, equation 1. Now, this equation has unknown parameter H because we do not know that. So, the next step is at B, find the required velocity of the coaster car at B so it doesn't leave, leave the track. So, when the coaster car is not in contact with the track, when it, it is just about to leave the track, then the normal force is 0. So, we assume that the normal force is 0, and we apply the normal tangent coordinate system at B. So if this is the situation at B here, then we define tangential axis in this direction and normal axis in this direction and draw the free body diagram and corresponding kinetic diagram. So this is FBD and this is corresponding kinetic diagram. And then we apply this equation of motion. Sum of forces in normal direction is equal to mass sine normal acceleration, which is A n is v squared by rho. So, where sum of forces in normal direction is only mg because we assume that the normal force is zero, it's only the weight that's applicable at B. So, it's equal to 800 Vb square by 7.5, which is the radius of curvature it's given here. So, we get the velocity at B is 8.578. And now we can go back and substitute that velocity here and we can solve for h. So, when we do that, we get the value of h as 23.75 meters, this height. And the last step is to calculate the velocity at C, which is very easy because we can apply the conservation of energy between A and C. That is Ta plus Va is equal to Tc plus Vc. And substitute all the numbers relative to this datum for potential energy, uh, as well as kinetic energy depending on whether it's moving or it's at rest. For example, at here, this is not moving, so velocity at A is zero. And from that, we can calculate the final velocity at C, which is 21.6 meters per second.